Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Sunday, Sunday, September 22nd. And the energies in the day adds up and reduced to number three vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So today's energies feel for the most part social, social, but okay, social, but not so social. Social but not so social because the sun enters into Libra and Libra energy deals with relationship, how we relate to others, how we relate to ourselves, how we relate to things on a whole. And the sun in Libra is a part of a trine with Pluto in Capricorn and the moon in Gemini and Uranus in Taurus. So I look at the positive aspect being made to the sun. Um, it feels positive to me, especially being made to Pluto and Capricorn, because there's something around our friend groups or the people that we're associating ourselves with that's beneficial for us when it comes to gaining clarity around our goals, our ambition, our goals, our ambitions, and what it is that we want for ourselves in this life. So something about the connections is amplifying that and there's positive feelings where that is concerned. Um, today being Sunday, um, yes, the sun moved into Libra today and Venus also entered into Scorpio and Venus entering into Scorpio is squaring Pluto in Capricorn though. Um, and I guess with Venus at the early part of Scorpio, um, I think of Scorpion energy dealing with power, deal with control, deal with transformation, deals with putting oneself first. And I feel like with Venus just entering in there, it's like, you know, I, I think the beginning stages, I think of like a person not knowing themselves enough to know what it is that they want to protect. Um, Venus, though, is positively aspecting Jupiter in Gemini. So with Venus entering into Scorpio, positively aspecting Jupiter in Gemini, um, That's so the way how I would put that is um, positively aspecting, I guess I think of like, say, um, with Venus and Scorpio, I think of valuing things that are occult, valuing things that are hidden, valuing things that are taboo and positively aspecting Jupiter and Gemini. It's a matter of valuing these things and connecting with others who enjoy talking about these things and also learning about this these things or diving into information pertaining to these things and with venus in just entering in scorpio squaring pluto in capricorn um i think of again venus energy in scorpio us valuing our freedom valuing power and control and Pluto and Capricorn deals with death and rebirth of our goals, our legacy. I think of Capricorn energy as being out in the open in front of everyone being exposed. And Scorpio energy is, is hidden energy. So with Venus just entering into Scorpio, squaring Pluto like that, um, when it comes to today's energy, I think of like stage fright. Ugh, I said all that. To, it's like stage fright is how venus's energy at the early stages squaring pluto and capricorn would feel for me today feel like stage fright stage fright in the sense that a capricorn energy 10th house energy it's like you're in a position where everybody could see you 
everybody is looking up at you and with Pluto there you're making major changes in front of everyone and that's terrifying that's terrifying that everybody is seeing me trying to figure it out so yes that's the challenge when it comes to that so when it comes to the spirit animal a bunch fell on my leg I didn't see them we have the crocodile energy in the reversal position lately I've been seeing a lot of are there alligators or crocodiles? I don't know, videos on Instagram where um, people are actually friends with them. Um, two of the videos was of two different guys. One was feeding the alligator or the crocodile and the, one, and the other one, the crocodile or the alligator put its uh, head in the boat for the guy to pat it. Of course, the other people in the boat freaked out because they're not friends with the alligator or crocodile. I'm not sure which one it was, but with the crocodile energy coming out in the reversal position, this energy brings me to um, not taking enough time to properly assess something. And in the upright position, it's like you take your time and you stake something out. You yeah, you do your due diligence when it comes to something. There's something about today's energy that has to do with not doing your due diligence when it comes to something. So I think of someone getting carried away and skipping steps, jumping into something without seeing, without looking at the, the fine print, without reading the fine print. So with Jupiter's energy, um, playing a part in today because the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number three vibration that brings a social carefree curious expressive type of vibe to the day but again with the crocodile energy in the reversal position coming out it brings me to not getting lost in that energy and with the day being the 22nd the number 22 um is a the master builder and with the number 22 being master building energy, um, two plus two is four. And the number four deals with stability, foundation, uh, security. So when it comes to today's energy, it brings me to the thought of some things coming up around our emotional stability, security, or just overall stability and security in our lives. And instead of wanting to face and deal with that, we could find ourselves being busy getting social and focusing on other things uh, else, other things instead of how it is that we're feeling pertaining to certain things. And we have the King of Cups in the reversal position. And with the King of Cups in the reversal position, this King brings me to not properly dealing with our emotions. It brings me to being petty. It brings me so this energy here would bring me to say a person going through things and instead of addressing the root of what it is that they're going through, they they pretty much is like contaminate the energy in this space. What I mean by that is like say you come across someone who <clears throat> is just nasty with you for no reason. And deep down with that, within them, their nastiness towards you might have everything to do with them being miserable about their current situation and where they're at. And instead of, <coughs> excuse me, addressing their current situation and making things better, instead they focus on things outside of themselves instead of going in and dealing with what's happening within. And I feel like with these energies in the reversal position, so this energy in the reversal position, the first thought that came to mind is say someone here is thinking about getting some kind of a surgery that's not an emergency. Like that's the image that just came to mind. If you're thinking about getting a surgery that's not an emergency, um, you want to stop for a second and do your due diligence and do your research that's what i'm getting with these energies here that's what came to mind where it's like say someone wanting to get a surgery that's going to make themselves feel better and it's not going to make you feel better because the root issue is not addressed yes yeah, so when it comes to today's energy making something a problem that's actually not a problem and skipping steps opposed to taking a step back and seeing the whole situation for what it is and you know doing the hard the hard part whatever the hard 
part is. And of course, I did say, you know, a, a non-emergency situation. I feel like I need to say that because let me not even get into why I feel like I need to say that. But yeah, when it comes to today's energy, um, when it comes to today's energy, um, the biggest thing for me, the biggest takeaway is when it comes to any feelings about like security or stability where emotionally one might feel off um instead of running away from it and looking for a quick fix instead stop and it's like imagine your emotions as you as a child and when you were a child like the adults in your life dismissed you and imagine the child and i used to do this where when i felt dismissed i would be like you know how people come home i wouldn't do it to this extreme because i would get in trouble but i wouldn't care but it's like imagine when a person comes home and their pet just tore up the whole place it's like as a kid like i would do things that i knew would get me in trouble but i didn't care because i felt i felt vindicated or justified from doing that thing, even though it was going to get me in trouble. I think of our emotions as that, like the same way we were neglected as children, some of us, um, same way we felt neglected in certain situations as children, is the same way we grow up and we neglect our emotions. And instead of feeling our feelings and sitting with our feelings and questioning our feelings with curiosity and compassion, instead we shut it up. We shut it up and we stuff food down our throat or you know whatever it is that you put in your body in order to shut yourself up we shut ourselves up the way how we may have felt shut up overlooked or ignored as children and when it comes to today's energy it brings me to a perfect opportunity to get to the root of all of that hey guys i want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session the first one is understanding your internal programming the second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles we first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place the sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics we don't have to change the people in our lives we have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes and the seventh benefit is upcoming transits if that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below it was a pleasure sharing this message with you before you go anywhere please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a yellow heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.